What have been the assignments in your life? What is your life assignment today? Sure, you have lots of assignments in your life. Maybe watching this video is one of them. But what do you see as your life assignment, your purpose, your reason for being at this stage in your life? To me, it's critical that our life assignments be congruent with the priorities in our lives because we get way out of balance when they're not. It's important to consider our life assignments and living our priorities when we're deciding how we want to contribute to our world. As we strive to make a difference, we need to make healthy, conscious decisions about how involved to be so we don't get out of balance. We can choose to respond to the needs of our world in one of three ways. One is no involvement. You may know some people with this approach. I like to think that it's not from an absence of caring, but from an absence of knowledge. It's a lot easier not to do something about a problem if you don't know about it. It's a lot easier not to do something if you don't know that every year over five million kids die in our world from poor nutrition. That's the population of Scotland. Lest we think that the USA escapes these problems, 30 million people in our country do not have enough to eat or must scrounge for food. Occasionally, I've heard those who choose not to be involved say, well, they should pull themselves up by their bootstraps, forgetting, I think, that some don't have boots. Others say, well, they should take care of their own. And I've never understood how man-made geographical boundaries should determine which children in the world survive. I suspect the main reason that most choose not to be involved is because the problem seems so overwhelming, their small part would be insignificant. But it's important to remember that no effort is too small. Every tiny thing makes a difference beyond our knowledge and comprehension.